How's it going guys? Last Gaming over here and today we're going to talk about 6 charm builds you can use in Hollow Knight depending on your preferences and playstyle. If you want to have a nail build, we have that. If you want a spell build, we have that too. Depending on what you're doing in the game, there's probably a build that you can use out of this list. Let's get started. Alright, first up on our list we have our Explorer build. Using this we're going to have Wayward Compass so that you can know where you're at on the map location. Hive Blood, that way if you get hit by a spike or something, you can sit back for 12 seconds and regain the one health that you just lost. Grub Song works really well with Hive Blood because if you get hit by something and then you get hit by something else, over time you are going to be gaining soul and be able to heal up that extra one that Hive Blood doesn't cover. Deep Focus gives you two masks of healing instead of the individual one, which works out because we're moving slow and just exploring. Gathering Swarm because we had one extra notch space, and why not gather up the extra geo that might get lost along the way. This type of build is especially useful in moments whenever you're in a hard parkour area where you're having difficulty getting across, and that you have spots that you can actually stop and wait a little bit for the 12 seconds for high blood to activate. Path of Pain is one such time that you might use this. Number two, we have our tank build. It's going to comprise of the Unbreakable Heart, could be the Fragile Heart if you haven't upgraded this yet, Stalwart Shell, that way we keep our invulnerability for longer, Lifeblood Heart and Lifeblood Core, which gives us an extra boost of shield, and Balder Shell, which gives us four blocks whenever we're focusing. The Stalwart Shell also works with the Balder Shell with the invulnerability. This is about how much health it gives you. Number three, we have our minion build. It's going to have Glowing Womb, which uses eight soul to spawn a hatchling. You can have up to four hatchlings at any given point. Weaver Song spawns three weavers that stick around and attack the enemies. Grub Song, which works in hand with the weavers as it gives you soul as they attack them. Sprint Master makes our weavers go faster. It also makes us a little faster, so that's nice too. Grim Child, persistent uh, damage that we're giving off without having to use soul. After you defeat Grim, he does 8 damage, and after you fight Nightmare Grim and Banish, it will be 11 damage. And Grubberfly's Elegy, which boosts our potential from Grub Song by raising the amount of soul, taking damage to 25. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this build because there's too much happening on screen, and it makes it hard to dodge potential damage from projectiles, and if it's a small enemy, they kind of cover them up and you can't tell what's going on from uh, clues that are given to you for dodges. But each their own. Number four, we have our mobile build. We're going to start with Sharp Shadow, which lets us damage enemies when we dash them using Shadow Dash. Dash Master, which gives us faster dash recovery. It does not increase the speed of the Shadow Dash, but it does allow us to get around quicker. Sprint Master, which gives us even more speed, as well as the fact that Dash Master actually makes it boost up to 39% movement speed. And Unbreakable Strength, increasing our Nail Damage, which also increases the damage from Sharp Shadow. For our last three notches, we have a few choices. First, we could use Mark of Pride, which works well with our Strength, and kind of making this kind of a speedy Nail build by increasing our range. We can use Quick Slash, which works along the same line of thought. Because of strength, we can get more hits in, doing more damage. And lastly, we are missing a charm currently because it's currently been eaten by a giant worm lady named Divine. But this missing spot is Greed, which allows us to get between 20 to 80% more Geo from enemies. Give me one second. There we go, that's better. We can throw Greed in there. Number five, we have our wizard build using Shaman Stone. Shaman Stone is absolutely a must for this build. It increases the damage to our Descending Dark and Abyss Shriek by about 50% and increases the damage from our Shade Soul by about 10. Next up, Soul Eater. This is gonna give us about eight soul every time we hit an enemy with our man. Spell Twister, reducing the cost from 33 to 24 soul for each cast. This will allow us to get more spells out without as much. This works really well with our soul leader as it only takes three hits from a nail to equal one spell. And Grimchild just for some extra persistent damage that doesn't require our soul that we need for our spells to go out. Alternatively you could put soul catcher in place of Grimchild to get an extra three soul per hit with a nail but I prefer the persistent damage over the small amount of soul that you get by additionally having this. 
And finally, our nail build at number 6. First off, we have Strength, which gives us an extra 50% nail damage. Quick Slash, which reduces the cooldown of our nail idle time by 39%. More times hitting equals more damage. And Market Pry, which increases our nail range by 25%. For our final two notches, we have a few options. First, since Sharp Shadow works off the nail damage, we could throw in it as our number 4 item. Second, we can use Nail Master's Glory to get faster nail art attacks out, as they also obviously build off of our nail damage. Steady Body, because it only costs one, and allows you to get more of these fast strikes out from a quick slash without getting yourself pushed back off of them. And third, we can reduce our Mark of Pride down to a Long Nail, which still gives us 15% more range, and throw on a Dream Shield. When Dream Shield hits an enemy, it acts as it did one nail attack on that enemy, so it also works off of our strength bonus. Alright guys, that wraps up our six charm builds for Hollow Knight. If you end up using one of these builds after this point, let me know in the comments below. That wraps it up for this. If you want to keep watching more of my content, click on the video on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!